Cheers, I do, buckaroos. How the heck are you? The music stopped when I hit the start button, man. <laughs> Let me turn it off. Oh, oh this is some pop school rebels, man. Fire in the hole. Anyways, uh, so I have this one from <laughs> Bubble Cows Brewing, Berkey 10, Belgian style quadruple, a quad to can, huh? You don't see that very often, Martha. No, we don't. Anyways, uh, <laughs> anyways, I digress, man. I haven't had a quad in a while. Uh, 10%. 10% quad. There no, don't give me a lot of information other than that on the can. I do like Public House, though. I've got a good friend that works out there, uh, Gene. Uh, of course, you got the Joshes out there that, that run the show, but uh, I, I consider Gene a good friend out there. Works in sales, also works uh, for St. James Winery out there, which my wife and I have visited. It's not exactly quad weather in all honesty. It's so warm out here in the Ozark. Well, yeah, it's not bad. It's probably about uh, 72 as I speak to you. The sun's going down. I've got a little bit of glare. If I wanted to get wanted to get a video in before the sun went down. I'm both, don't let the sun go. <laughs> Anyways, let's go down on me. Although I search myself, there's always someone else I see. Anyways, uh, bring it back, Tom. No, I just wanted to get one more before the sun went down on me, man. Oh. Had a great weekend last weekend, in all honesty. I hadn't taken any time off from work in about 15 months. Decided to take six days. Uh, and good gosh almighty, it was nice. It was probably the best three days off my wife and I have ever had together. You know, there was no stress, no expectations. Uh, no plans, right? No plans. I mean, we just winged it. We just, I just booked us a room. Well, I got a little uh, Airbnb, a little, little cabin. Um, not the middle of no damn place. Uh, and again, I didn't plan anything. We just said, well, let's just go. We're just going to go. We're going to relax. No expectations. And it was nice, man. Uh, we found some nice local restaurants. We had we had one clinker. I don't want to say there was one clinker. But we found some good ones, though. I hit Drop the H Brewing, which I didn't think, locals really dislike Drop the H. I didn't think they were bad. Uh, but Jolly Fox is doing some great stuff out there. So the word on the streets, I guess the joke is, uh, uh, I, I guess one person out there, uh, Drop the H, is they got some great pizza. I said, uh, I plan on hitting Jolly Fox. Jolly Fox got some great, great beer. I said, how's the food at Jolly Fox? He says, Drop the H is great pizza. <laughs> so basically, the word on the streets basically is you go to Drop the H for the pizza, you go to Jolly Fox for the beer. I didn't eat at Jolly Fox, in all honesty, but I did see some food come out that looked okay. I mean, it looked pretty good. I, I said, okay, like it might be bad. No, it looked fine. But I will say the, the pizza dropped the H. My wife and I shared this pizza. That was just amazing. It had a roasted red pepper sauce. That was, oh my lord, amazing. The only clunker meal we had was at a place called Pickler's Chicken Annie's. And that thing was, well, if we, you, you talk to people out there and so, say, oh, we love Chicken Annie's. This is the best chicken everywhere. They got Chicken Annie's, they got Chicken Mary's, and they got Pickler's Chicken Annie's. Well, we hit Pickler's Chicken Annie's, and I got to tell you, it was, it, was, it was beyond bad. There wasn't anything redeeming about that meal at all. It was horrible. But, but well, the, however, is yeah, we, we did find a couple of real, again, Drop the H at Great Pizza. The next day we had breakfast at another spot that was amazing. Uh, and then on the way home, we stopped at a place in Joplin and had a great breakfast. So, I mean, you know. You never know. And then the, the, the last restaurant we hit was the Hub uh, in St. Robert. Uh, uh, again, a German restaurant, and they were just incredible. So sometimes you got to take a chance. It's not all going to be gold. This is a nice, nice, nice Belgian style quad. You hit, you get those fruit notes that you expect, right? You get those floral notes you expect. Personally, I'm, I'm feeling some raisin. You might feel date and or fig. I, I don't eat a lot of those things, so I'm kind of feeling a little diff different. I get a lot of raisin, though. I 
I like to get a little spice going through the finish. I feel like I'm getting just a hint of all spice. It's a nicely done beer, and, and, and you know, in all honesty, that's what that's what Public House does. I don't even Public House just does a lot of things right. They're just doing some damn fine beer out there. They, not everything may knock your socks off, but everything is just done well, man. It's like comfort food, right? You know, you comfort food. Macaroni and cheese isn't going to necessarily knock your socks off. Neither is meatloaf. But you have one done right, and you go, oh, damn. And that's, for me, that's what a public house is. It, it, it just, they just do everything right. I can't name one time I've ever had a clunker. You know, I've never had a clunker from public house. They just, it's, it's not what they do. When I was at the brewery the other day, I had, uh, I had, the, I, I had, man, I had, I had their, uh, uh, Anthony's Pacification Imperial Stout, their regular and their barrel aged version from 21 and cheese whiz and bacon, man, that, that thing was, oh, after that, I, I quit drinking, <laughs> I was done, man, no, we went from there to the German restaurant, man, oh, Lord have mercy. No, I, I, I guess I can't say I was done drink because I didn't have one beer at the German restaurant. So I wasn't going to order. I'd already ordered my food. I uh, wasn't planning on ordering a beer at all. My wife says, you really, you know, they have this great German beer here. You really ought to have one with your meal. I said, you know what? Since you brought it up. <laughs> so I had a Weinstefan or a Dunkelweiss. And oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that beer was insanely good. I've had it before, but it had been a while. And, uh, but, but so I, I had I had the Bavir, I had the Bavarian platter, which had uh, <laughs> it had some stuff on it, man. And it had a smoke, smoked pork chop. Oh gosh. Uh, and a knockwurst and a bratwurst, and, uh, and so again, I looked at that plate and said, "Oh, Dunkelweiss." I felt like the Dunkelweiss was the perfect pairing for that. And, oh gosh, it was just amazing, man! The whole experience there at the hub was amazing. Uh, this is a nice beer; uh, it really does the style justice. You feel all the notes, the flavors and aromas that you expect from a quad. It's 10%. It's great big. It's beautiful. It's decadent. It's a little sweet initially. Yeah, I feel like I, you might pick up some honey notes. Uh, I mentioned some other fruit notes earlier. I feel like I'm picking up some plum in there now. It's just a beautifully done beer, which is again what it is what Public House does. So there you go. I am. I am. I am. I said. <laughs> Going into old songs for no reason to <laughs> to know it was a little Neil Diamond anyway. I. <laughs> But I digress. Uh, I, I am talking the beer whisper, beer evangelist, prolific beer drinker, purveyor of wisdom, and a rugged guy. Cheers.